Histograms are great tools for analyzing your process. What we're going to do in this video is show you some histograms and ask you what you can learn about a process from those histograms. Quick review of histograms. First of all, it's a bar chart that shows how often a value or range of values occurred during a certain time period. Typically, it tells you four things. It tells you the most common range of values. Here's an example of hardness, and the highest peaks the most common. That's 31 to 32. It tells you the amount of variation. You can see it varies from about 27 up to 37. It tells you the shape of the distribution. Here we have a normal curve, a bell-shaped curve. And it also shows the relationship to specifications. If you add the specifications, here's the lower spec and here's the upper spec. And you can see that there is material that's out of spec on both sides. So it tells you those four things, but it also tells you some problems. They reveal problems. And we're going to use an example here of dealing with a supplier. So here's some background information before we show you those histograms. Well, first is the supplier sends in weekly shipments of one raw material to you. It's important in your process. And he provides you with a certificate of analysis with each ship. And that includes the measured value for that characteristic. And you have the last 50 certificates of analysis. And you're going to use those to construct a histogram and put your specifications on top. You believe the data should be normally distributed for this characteristic. What that means is most of the data is going to be near the average, which is the high point on the curve. And as you move away from that average, there's less and less data as you get until you get down to almost zero. So there are five different histograms below. Each represents a different scenario for the supplier. And we created those using the supplier's data. And I want you to take a look at each one and say, what does a histogram tell us about our supplier's process? And what impact does that probably have on your process? So let's start with histogram number one. This is a histogram you constructed from your supplier's raw material uh, results from the certificate of analysis. What can you conclude about your supplier's process? Well, first of all, you ought to see that said, everything's within specifications, so everything should be good, right? You're getting everything in spec, not necessarily. What you would expect with a normal distribution is you would expect some material beyond the upper spec and lower spec. As you can see, his, this histogram ends right at your specifications. So what's that mean? That means that the supplier is doing 100% inspection and sorting raw material to ensure that he only sends material to you that's within specification. That increases the supplier's cost and the price you pay. Now here's another curve. Histogram. What do you think is going on in your supplier's process? Well, again, it looks like he's uh, sending you only things that are in specification. But you can see that it's not centered relative to your, to your specifications. It appears to be shifted to the left here. And again, if you put on a normal curve, you can see that it appears there's some material that's out of spec from his process and it was really normally distributed. So he's saying that his process isn't capable of meeting your specifications. Again, he's doing 100% inspection and sorting out the material that he can send to you within specifications, driving up his cost, and it drives up your price as well. Now here's another curve. Take a look at this. What do you think is going on with your supplier here? Again, if we had the normal curve, you can see there's some peaks out here near the lower spec limit and the upper spec limit. What do you think the supplier is doing? Well, it could very well be that the supplier is reworking this material that's outside over here to bring it back within specification. That rework increases your cost and the price you pay for the product as well. Again, he's admitting that his process cannot meet your specifications. Now here's an interesting histogram number four. The question quite, it, quite off, uh, right off this bat here is who's getting the good material in the mail? Not you. So what the supplier is probably doing is sorting the material, sending the center cut to another customer who probably has tighter specifications. And this can cause real problems in your process as sometimes you use material up here, other times you use material down here. And you can see the normal curve on it that it's missing the material in the middle. And here's our fifth histogram. What does this histogram tell you about your supplier's process? Well, first of all, a histogram should only have one peak. This one has two. That's an indication that there are at least two processes present in your supplier's process. It could be two machines, two shifts, two raw materials. But what these two processes do, they increase the variation in your supplier's process, and it increases the variation in your process. If the supplier could figure out how to 
only have one process, you can see how much the variation is going to be reduced in his process, and it'll reduce the variation most likely in your process. So those are our five examples. Histograms do tell you those four things about your process, which uh, range of values occur most frequently, the shape of the value, etc., but they can also reveal problems in your process. So histograms are very, very valuable tools. Thank you.